Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're going to go over this Buffalo Iron Worker. And I'm going to show you some of its features. And we're going to go over it. Uh, this is for sale right now. I am changing the shop around a little bit again. And this is a big machine. And I don't do much of the heavy fabrication anymore. And this machine's going out. So... This is the largest machine that Buffalo ever made. This is a 1954 machine. It has 190 tons of punching pressure. It is a mechanical unit and they've never built one this big since. Uh, what you're looking at right there is the notcher. You've got the punch station. And let's go around to the side. Okay guys, this is our angle iron side. You can cut angle iron like that. You can flip it around, you can cut it like that. There's all different angles you can put it on. Uh, there's a hole down here. Uh, if you just want to chunk up some material, you can cut three inch square. You can cut three inch round. There's a space there for two inch round, two inch square. Uh, so you just want to chunk up some long material, just send it in there. The knife is going to come through and it's going to cut that and uh, blank it up for you. Uh, down here we have a shear. And this is basically an endless shear. You can run the metal through. The waste will fall off on, on the opposite side and the sheet will ride on this table right here. Uh, so you can cut as long as you like. Uh, you could do small stuff in one shot, or like I say, it is an endless shear. You could just keep moving the material through. Uh, the one-shot lubrication system that you see right here is working fine. Uh, I restored this machine, cleaned it all down, changed anything that needed to be changed. Got the one-shot lubrication system fully functioning, and everything is getting oil as it should. Uh, the machine is ready to go. It's a little dirtier than when I first restored it, but uh, it's still, it, it is a workhorse. Um, like I say, uh, 190 tons of punching pressure and a mechanical unit like this, it's fast. And uh, I'll show you the features of it next. We'll go through each, each station and I'll show you it works just fine. Okay guys, tag on this machine is a little hard to read. I'm going to go over uh, the capacities here. Um, made by Buffalo, as I said, uh, the model is a four and a half UD. Um, dies are easily made. I used to have my dies made, uh, the punch dies at least, from uh, American Punch. Uh, they have patterns uh, on file for the, the this is the biggest die. Uh, the biggest iron worker die that they make and they do have files so easy to get those uh, the back shear where you saw a shear and some plate uh, that will take a one and a quarter inch plate 
and you can shear that endlessly like I say it will run down this here and the, and the, the, uh, the waste will go the other, the other way it will shear uh, in one shot inch and three eighths by seven and a half plate clamp it in there and uh, it'll make a seven and a half inch cut on an inch and three eighths plate uh, punch capacity is inch and nine sixteenths punch through one and a quarter inch plate or one and three eighths punch through one and three eighths plate uh, that's that's quite a uh, a punch there uh, angles right in this area here the angles you can run a six by five eighths on uh, the notcher on the front uh, we're going to show that to you in a, in a minute the notcher will take a five inch by half inch piece of steel uh, again for a notcher that that's quite a quite a nice cut um, I use this pretty much all the time for angle irons I, I, I did some punching but not a whole lot of punching uh, but uh, for angle irons uh, you get any angle you want here it, it's super for angle irons the fastest way uh, to get a perfect cut on an angle iron and if you need to square up any sheets if you torch cut a sheet or you do something you just want to square the edges up that shear in the back is fantastic for that and like I say if you look in places like this I don't know if you can pick that up with the camera uh, you see the oil dripping down that is the one shot lube it's dripping in all the areas that it should be dripping in and like I say every one of these pieces of pipe I've gone through and made sure it works We'll give it another shot of oil, and uh, like I say, everything is well lubed. This is a well taken care of machine. Uh, no trouble with it at all. And uh, while I'm sad to see it go, uh, I need the space for other machines, and uh, this needs to get out of here. Uh, the weight on this guy, I'm not exactly sure of, but I did have it. Uh, I had a rigger pick this up and move it for me to this new location I'm at right now. Uh, he estimated uh, it's about 35,000 pounds. So it will take a low deck because uh, it's so tall. It'll take a low deck and quite a, a big trailer. Uh, we moved it on a Landall to get it to this new location. And uh, it, it is a, uh, a heavy piece of machinery.
Okay guys, uh, I think I covered the machine pretty well. You see all the operations. Uh, if anybody can use a machine like this, uh, please get back to me. <clears throat> uh, just put a comment in the, in the description below there and, uh, and, I, and I'll get back with you. Uh, I will work with anybody uh, around the world. I don't care where it goes. Uh, I'll help you ship it uh, within the United States or overseas. Where anybody can use a machine like this. Uh, I'd like to see it working again daily. Uh, it is a, a good machine. It'll last a long time. It's a quality made machine by Buffalo. And they made real good stuff and it lasts forever. And this machine has been gone through uh, and not seen much use since I went through it. Uh, it should make the, the next owner a good, a good piece of equipment. Uh, it is big, but it makes fast work if you do any kind of, uh, I don't know, it would be good for a railing guy maybe or any kind of fabricator that does heavy stuff. Uh, this would be a great machine. So uh, the shop is changing. Uh, this has to go. I'm getting uh, more engine building equipment in here and uh, more precision machines uh, because engine building seems to be uh, what I'm doing mostly. So I need the space. This machine has to go. So uh, there'll be more videos like this. I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff around the shop. Uh, you know, if you can use it, let me know. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.